What is going on boys and girls, it is Giolini, back here with a brand new video and only episode number two of the uh, Team of Two Half series. You know, I did quite a few of these last year and I've only done two this year, which is absolutely outrageous. But as you can see on your screen, we are going with the um, Team of the Group stages. Obviously, that's quite a big thing right now. You'll see this on Wednesday, so I think that's the day they come out of PAX, which if I'm right, sort of is a bit of poor timing, but oh well. Um... We've got John Steins and we've got Andre Silva. Two, two of the cheaper ones. Because um, obviously, you know, you've got Ronaldo, you've got Mbappe. You've got the expensive ones and I don't have the coins for those. Unfortunately, I haven't packed any of these. So I've had to go buy them all. Um, but, you know, 4 4 one, one It's a solid formation. We'll get into the, the marquee players in a second. But we will go with, not low to high, the rest of the team first off. Goalkeeper, we do go with uh, Rui Patrizio. I did want to go for his inform, but he is like 90k. He's very, very extinct. His normal card looks pretty decent, 85 diving, 82 reflexes, 81 handling, 80 kicking and 79 positioning, 6 foot 3 as well. Type of name. Here's a bit of a decent keeper. Right back we go for a perfect link over to John Stones, which is Kyle Walker. 90 pace is all you need to know about him. He's got 80 defending, 80 on physical as well. Everyone loves him. I bought him for 25.5k with a powerhouse which boosts up his passing and defending. Not too bad, not too bad at all. His partner in crime is actually a former Barcelona man. It is uh, Jeremy Matthew, 72 pace, 80 defending and 83 physical. High medium with work rate, which I didn't think he had, but I can't complain. He's pretty decent. He's a, uh, he's a decent looking car, but his defense looks pretty nice. Left back, we've got for uh, Alessio. He is mainly there for chemistry, because um, every other Portuguese left back is pretty, pretty rubbish. Pretty rubbish, I have to say. 76 pace, 74 dribbling, 72 shooting, 76 defending, uh, 70 passing, and 80 physical. So he's all round decent. You know, he's five foot nine, four, a three star, three star. Um, but he's just made. He's there for chemistry. He's not there for much. But main main man of the defence, John Stone, 74 pi, uh, pace, 76 dribbling, which it, on a centre back is pretty decent. 75 passing, again pretty decent. 84 defending, 80 physical. Let's look at his in-game stats. 89 short pass. Mental. 82 ball control and 84 composure, which is ridiculous. 87 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle, 82 stamina, 82 strength, 84 marking. Fantastic stats for, for a guy that cost me 30k. Can't complain. He's Premier League, he's English, he played for Man City as well, so we get some good links like that. Perfect link to Carl Walker. Really, really can't complain about, about that defence. Right, maybe we go for um, Andre Ayu. Bit of a weird one but he's there for chemistry, really. 75 pace, 81 dribbling, 74 shooting, 75 passing, 77 physical, three star, three star, on the left, uh, on right footed on the left, no, left footed on the right hand side is what I'm trying to say. So he does cut in very, very nicely. First centre mid we go for is a strong link to him, it is Manuel Lanzini, brought back from Cam to centre mid, um, I, I think he can do a decent shift there. I mean, he's got 82 pace, so he's able to track 86 uh, dribbling, 71 shooting, and 78 passing. Four star, four star. I bought him for 1500 coins as a centre mid. Bit of a bargain if I do say so myself. Other centre mid we go for is a bit of a low rate one. It's this guy here, Bataglia. Didn't know who he was. He's in my club. He's got some pretty all round decent stats. Minus his pace, he's got 71 shooting, uh, 70 passing, 75 dribbling, 77 defending, and 84 physical, which is decent. What makes his physical so high? Wow, 91 stamina, 82 strength. Not bad, not bad for a centre mid whatsoever. Left mid we go for uh, Luis Nani, obviously that bit of the bit of the flair with the 5 star. 5 star, 81 pace, 86 dribbling, 79 shooting, 81 uh, passing, 1800 points. He's, he's bumping up a price for 93, but obviously as SPCs will be coming out at some point, so I have a feeling he may get a little bit more expensive. Centre forward we go for Alejandro Gomez, he links the team together very, very nicely. Uh, 90 pace. Again, one of those stats, all you need to know about him. 88 dribbling, 77 shot, 80 passing, 4 star, 4 star, 4k. He is an absolute gem on this game. He's fantastic. I love using this guy. Um, and he's just such an attacking... He just brings such an attacking brilliance to the team. Uh, and the final man is the striker, Andre Silva. Transferred to AC Milan this season. AC Milan have had a torrid time in the league. I think they're like 10th. Um, so... Um, it's good to see one of these players getting these cards. 84 pace, 82 shooting, 83 dribbling, 82 physical, 6 foot 1. Um, I mean, 6 foot 1 with 84 pace is so insane. He's younger than me, by the way. I mean, by like 3 months, but he's still younger than me. Um, but that combination of pace, the dribbling and the strength, oh sorry, and the physical, sorry, makes him just unstoppable. 88 sprint speed, which is ridiculous. Once he gets going, he is unstoppable. 91 attack and positioning is fantastic. 88 pens, you'd expect that with a striker to be fair. Uh, 84 ball control, not bad. 85 reactions is pretty decent. 88 jumping, and he is 6 foot 1. Mental. And 89 stamina. 
he looks ridiculous, Stones looks ridiculous, this team looks pretty decent, it's a little bit of a different different mix, it's a bit eclectic with a bit of the Liga Nos in there, the Serie A, um, the Premier League, so there's only really three leagues, but it's still a pretty decent hybrid. Let's get into a game, see how we do, see how the uh, two team of the two half players do, see how, see how you know, Silver goes up front and how Stones goes in defence, but hopefully we come out of the win. Let's go get the opponent in the weekend league qualifications and see how we do. Let's go. Well, boys, opponent number, well, our opponent brings us, and that's a French Serie A team. Can't see how, it's 5-2-2, 5-2-1-2 even. It's got Jesus and Rashford up front, which is sweaty. It's Fernandinho, Delph, and Rui Costa in midfield, which is pretty sick. And then he's got like a Serie A defence, Sandro, he had uh, Barzaghi, Chiellini in there, he had Florenzi. This team looks pretty sick. Looks pretty sick. Let's see if we can battle through that, uh, the five at the back. Defend those two strikers, because they are sweaty as anything. And come out with a win. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We're a minute and a half in, and Gabriel Jesus has done his usual thing and fucked me off. Excuse my language. I hate the guy. Absolutely hate the guy. Oh my god. 90 minutes. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Andre Silva, that was unlucky. Picked up a deflection. Let's put the ball right to the front, right to Silva's head. His teammate in Donnarumma batters the ball away. Nani, back in, batters the ball again. Matthew! Oh, or not. Or not. Oh, Andre Silva, really nice proof. pass through to Gomez. Low driven. 1 all. Just like that. Alejandro Gomez changes the game. Nice little counter attack from a good, good tackle from Stones to a nice counter attack. To a decent goal. I, I will take that all day long. Back in the game at 1 0. Oh, Andre Silva opens up some space. Oh, I thought that was going in. I thought that deflection was taking it in. We've got a corner out of it. Got a corner. Again, play it to the front post. Andre Silva's head out just goes flying over the bar. Good save, Patrizio. They've been, been pretty pretty average so far the last 20 odd minutes since since the two goals. Uh, corner is the clear. That uh, deflection. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's been pretty average. I have to say, it's not been not been too exciting. You know, it's not been too thrilling. But hope, hopefully, we can spark a little bit into this game. Come up with a win. Alejandro Gomez in a good position. Oh straight at the keeper as you can clearly tell from my attacking my well from my attacks Andre Silva has uh, has really not been that involved it's been all Gomez let's see if we can change this here though nice bit of one two pass save or save blocked corner come on Andre Silva I believe in you big head no Gomez he's still got the ball oh, I lost it Oh, Gomez holds it up nicely. Ah! Defenders got to us. You can see there, despite his five at the back, despite his his decent team, we've actually been on top there. We've had nine shots and he's only had three. But he can still go 2 1 up and have lots less shots. Good, good save. Oh, end to end. Very, very end to end. And yes, I do realise I touch my face and hair a lot like when I'm, when I'm recording. I don't know why. That was a bit of a dodgy. That was a very dodgy clearance. Oh, get the ball away. Free kick. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's such a stupid mistake. Gave the ball away in a stupid position. And we were punished for it with a rebound goal, which is even worse. Ah, oh, that's gonna be literally on a stroke of half time, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I'm disappointed. Very disappointed myself. Nine shots five on target. Alright, possession is pretty average, pass is terrible. Let's get into the second half, come out with a win, and I really want to go with Andre Silva. Yes, Stones, lovely, great defending. He's actually really decent, I will say that. May put him in in my week, well, my 
Premier League defence. Oh my god. Oh, he's there again. What a legend. Maybe put him in there instead of um, Van Dyke. Him and Bailly would be a pretty formidable force. He's done really well in this game so far. I know I'm 2 1 down, but he's done decent. Oh, Gomez, nice bit of skill. Yes, there's his second. The second assist from Andre Silva. Shouldn't be happening. Should be the goals going to Silva. The assist going to Gomez, but I'm not going to complain. There's goals coming my way. That's all I really care about. A goal with Andre Silva would be really nice. I have to say that, though. Oh, Jesus. Go away, man. Don't understand why this guy is so good on this game. Now, maybe I'm just a bit of a United fan, but I really don't rate him as, as highly as EA do. Oh, Andre Silva. Nice turn, he's still at the ball. Yes, come on! Scrappy, cheesy, but I'll take it. I will take that on his weak foot. Great finish. Very good determination. We're back in the game. Let's go. Oh, Andre Silva is beating past the defender. Take it up. That's got to be a red card. He was the last man. It has got to be red. It is. Yes, barzagli has gone. Got ourselves a free kick on literally on the edge of the box. We'll fake it with Matthew. We'll put, oh, I did not mean to do that. It kind of works. Gomez, take the shot. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. And I just wasted that. Oh, Gomez. Nice. Silver holds it up. Lanzini. He's on the run. No driven. Gone. Yes. Come on. In the lead. Lovely. That red card has taken more of an effect than I reckon he thought. I will take that all day long. Lovely bit of play between Gomez and Silva. Nice hold up play by Silva. Good run by Lanzini as well. Did not expect it to be him. I thought it was Nani. But nice finish on his weak foot as well. That four star weak foot coming into play. We're in the lead at 4 3. Let's keep it that way and get the win. Oh, Gomez has put Silva through. Is this going to be a second? Yes, it is. Lovely stuff. Come on. Two goals from the big man up front. <sighs> Two assists as well. Fantastic performance from him, have to say. First half was a little bit iffy. he wasn't enjoying him too much. This second half, he's proper come out of his shell. He's done fantastically. For 15k, he is a brilliant striker. And a bit of something outside the norm as well, especially in the Serie A. Oh, Rashford hitting the bar. Let's get a counter-attack. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's going to happen as well, I think. Andre Silva. He's not going to be able to get the pass. We've got alone. Low driven. In there. Come on. Yes. Come on. There's the hat trick that I wanted. Lovely stuff. Three goals and two assists in one game. What a guy. What a guy. Absolutely loving him. Must keep him as well. Great finish. Keep right touching that. I think it's a person goes in. No, no, no. Rolls in. I'm not going to complain. We went 3-2 down and we have 6-3 up. That red card has definitely taken a ton, more of a toll than we thought it would. Oh, Lorenzi's through. Good save by Rui Patrizio. Stones, what a block. And Walker's off the line. Oh my god, what a what a hero John Stones is. Absolute hero. So worth the 30k. Oh, nice stuff, Gomez. He's there. Ah, oh, Donnarumma, go away. I think he may have stopped playing towards the end of this game because he wasn't really moving with the ball. Corner. John Stones, is he going to get a goal? Ah, oh, I thought he got a goal. I got really excited then for a Man City player to score. Never thought that would happen. Ever. And there's full time. Nice 6 3 victory. What a team. What a fantastic team, I have to say. Everyone worked brilliantly. Two goals for Gomez, one for Lanzini, three for Silva. Oh, oh sorry, Silva did get the hat trick. Oh, yeah, of course he did, because he got the uh, the assist for Lanzini's goal. Of course he did. And three assists for Gomez. What a performance. What a fantastic team. Absolutely love it. Can't, can't say anything more than that. Absolutely love it. 
Right guys, like oh, I think I said it at the beginning of the video. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm only gonna do one episode, one game, sorry, because if I do two, it drags on really long. It's like 18 minutes long in the video after editing and everything like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is if I do a team like this, where I run through the players separately, one game. If I do a video where it's about one player, I'll just show you the team we're using, and then we get into two games because then it sort of weighs out about the same time length. Um, if it obviously doesn't, I'll change it up. But to be fair, normally one game I, I do struggle, but that had to show that showed that one game was fantastic. Patrizio, he was all right when he when he got tested, he got tested, but he was all right. Uh, LSE was all right, and Stan Walker. It's fantastic. I'm actually gonna leave. I'm gonna actually just let you guys decide. We're gonna do a poll over on Twitter. Who's better, Valencia or Walker on FIFA? Because I'm I'm definitely Team Valencia, being a Man United fan. But I have to say, Walker really did impress me. Definitely impressed me. Matthew was decent. He played very very well for an 18 rated centre back. I had no complaints about him whatsoever. John Stones is ridiculous. He has got such good defending. He's got brilliant passing. He is an all round fantastic centre back. He's tall. He's quick. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to chuck him in one week in the team. Get rid of Van Dyke, get him out of there, put John Stones in there, keep that, keep him on there. I know he cost me 30k, but he's staying on there. Fantastic player. Are you and Nani weren't too bad. They played all right, you know, provided a bit of a bit of whip out in the wing. Bataglia, I didn't even notice he was there. But then again, Lanzini ouch on him, absolutely fantastic. And Gomez, I mean, one, two goals and three assists in one game. He played fantastically. Andre Silva was an absolute delight. Absolute delight. I thought it was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant card. 84 pace is so noticeable. 83 dribbling is pretty decent. His shooting is brilliant. His physical is decent. You know, he, he did get out muscled every now and then. He's only got 77 strength, but he was fantastic. Um, I'm going to jump back over to John Stones. You can see on the screen right now, I'm going to give this guy a four star value for money because, I mean, 30k for a Premier League centre back is not that bad. And he was only released a few days ago. I would say definitely four star is very very decent and I'm going to give him an eight star rating eight out of ten star rating eight out of ten rating I should say uh, for his performance in terms of the game he was fantastic absolutely brilliant brilliant player uh, Andre Silva four and a half star value for money because 15k 14k for a Serie A centre mid uh, sorry Serie A striker that's got those sort of stats four and a half star value for money eight and a half as well I mean they both performed fantastically can't complain about that whatsoever but that's been the video boys i hope you have all enjoyed as always links down to twitter and instagram in the description below go down there drop me a follow drop a like on the video and drop a sub if you're new around here till next time guys have a fantastic day and i shall see you all later bye